It's a bottom fish. It's a bottom fish. It's my grouper or something. Come on. Well, come on, buddy. It's like stripping my reel. This one's huge. What is going on YouTube? So today we go out on the Carolina Skiff, which is right out there getting worked on. Hardcore right now. Back when it was all running and everything, we took it down to the 40 Keys. Me and my buddy Nick, we also went fishing with his parents. We went out there, did a little bit of inshore fishing, and we even took the J16, only a 16 foot boat, all the way offshore to do some reef fishing as well. I hooked a giant that day that literally destroyed my pen conflict. I will talk about that a little bit at the end of the video. But as you can see guys behind me, this is my rod building station here. It's kind of a mess. It is a complete mess at the moment. But if you are in the Central Florida area, Orlando area, hit me up on Instagram at Gabe Feltman. Um, I will include the link in the description below. But I will do rod repairs, custom rod builds, and designs. Anything you want, guys, just let me know. I've also been tying these little flare hawk jigs, guys. I'm not trying to be super basic and just sell t-shirts and stuff like that and apparel. I want to sell things that are useful for fishing, can actually catch you fish. These things are made of Mustad 8 aught hooks. This is the 3 ounce Casper all white, pearl white with a white tail, red gills on the side there. Big tides, big inlets, anything you want guys, all the way up from one quarter ounce all the way to three ounce. So we have a huge, huge variety. Um, I'll also do custom colors and stuff. So let's go to the keys. Nice, oh fish. God, nice fish. Awesome. Let me come up to the front. You're fine, you're fine. Come on, careful, careful. Come on, do it right. Go ahead, go ahead. On the pinfish. On the pinfish. Yeah, on the pinfish. Whole pinfish. This could be a Goliath. Really? Is it moving? Now it's stuck. Are you serious? Oh, that's not good. It was a fish. It might be a glide, but it's probably dug in. No, he's out. He's out. He's out. Alright, good. Alright. Yeah, that's not It's a bottom it's fish. Bottom, it's a bottom yeah. fish. It's like a grouper or something. Come on. Well, yeah. Come on, buddy. It's like it's stripping my reel. Good job. Come on. Might break off. I think no, 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 no. Don't say that. Nice, nice. There you go. There you go. You're doing it right. It's a Goliath. Yeah. Awesome. It's a Goliath. Yes, it nice nice Broke my reel though. I can't even reel anymore. Oh my God, that's awesome. It's dude. a huge one. That's awesome. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Look at that. See? That's sick. Look, that is awesome. No. no, of course not. Yes. Woo. Let me help you out, buddy. All right, I'm just gonna try to. Yep, I got this. I'm gonna do a release on this guy. A little Goliath ate the pinfish. He's <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Guys I don't want to drop your phone. Yep, that's right. Is there Dude. Endangered? Obviously, you can't beat these guys. Awesome. Look at oh that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, it is. Look at it. There it goes. There it goes. Swimming off. All right. Bye bye. Oh, here I am tall. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fucking nasty. <laughs> it's a 
gummy. Yeah, it's freaking big. Sharks, shark, groupers, very sharks. Got him, get him out of there, real. Pump the wine, pump the wine, quick. He's out, he's out. Slow down, slow down. He's just... Oh my God. Nice fish, bro. Nice fish, bro. Hell yeah, where is on? A live bait? Oh, he got shark? Probably. He's got super heavy. Really? Better be ready to set this hook. Oh. Come on. Got one. Got one. Got one. Yep. 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 Just swallow that. Come on. She on it? Yeah, he's Be something decent. Off the bottom. Don't get sharked. Don't get sharked. Nice mutton, bro. Ooh. Oh my god. Yes, bro. That's a keeper mutton, bro. <laughs> <laughs> First keeper mutton in my life. You're on? Got him, got him, got him, got him, get him out, get him out of there. That might be a bigger one, bro. Come on, come on. Can they get huge? Come on, get him. Yes, dude. We're on. We're on. Holy crap. Is he on? Nice, dude. Stud freaking yellow tail. <laughs> Hey, double hookup almost. Can't really see him, but we'll get pictures. Is he on it still? Yeah, he's on it. You ready? Bigger one. Much bigger. Jesus! Come on! Dude, this is a baby! Ah! Oh, it came off. Oh, dude, that was a big fish. Uh. Nice fish. Oh, he's huge. Yeah, he's huge. He's giant. Oh my god. Giant. You gotta help me with this. To the net. Not there yet. Fight him, bud. Oh, hoo, hoo. Hell yeah. I'm gonna come up here. On the rock. Ah. Oh, it came. He got tangled up. Ooh. Oh, it's a yellow jack. Oh, it's a yellow jack. Yes. Yes, dude. Nice one. It's a big one too. Yes. Nice. All right, guys. This is actually my shelf of dead reels. Um, not all of them are dead, but some of them 
have been completely stripped and destroyed. This is the reel that got stripped and destroyed on that trip, guys. Unbelievable pen conflict. Saltwater reel already. I think would be meant for that type of stuff. Just got absolutely destroyed. All right, guys, so to give you an idea of just how destroyed this reel is, see how it's already, the, the handle's turning here. This reel is supposed to have instant anti-reverse. And right now it's slipping. See how that's slipping? If I hold on to this spool here, it still turns, the handle. That's what was happening. Um, basically, you can go into it a little bit more in a second. I'll open up the reel here to show you guys. But basically, the gears that this handle are attached to got blown up. All right, you guys, so I'm not the biggest, biggest pen fan um, already. Well, I haven't seen too many pen reels fail or gears fail before, especially on a higher end reel like this. See, I fished this reel for a long time. Didn't really clean it too hard. But yeah, there it is. There it is. Super, super dirty in here. Either way, could have used a clean. Could have been the reason it broke as well. Okay. I'm not sure how to get the handle off because it just keeps going both directions. Uh, I'm just gonna start with these screws right here. Take all these out. All right, the screws are out now. And there's also a screw directly here, kind of at the bottom, just by itself holding this plate on here. Once you remove that plate, allows you to take the side off. As you can see here, I loosen these pieces up enough to open up our drive gears. This is what turns your handle and puts line back on your reel when you are reeling it in. This gear right here and this gear on the inside of here. Super, super greasy right now at the moment. But as you can see, it is not hard to find the problem here. If you look really closely, that gear is just kind of just gone. It's destroyed. Just that little bit right there. So every rotation, you're slipping off of the other gear. There we are. Okay, so this reel is already super, super dirty, which is probably more so what destroyed it. If you properly maintain and keep your reel clean, this should not happen. But I think there is a little, a few pieces of sand in there. As you can see, this gear too is damaged. So we've got two gears that are supposed to be working together, both damaged <laughs> and chipped. Pieces are also inside of here, jamming it up even more. So I'm not tell, I cannot tell if it is the real failure or if it was my failure of not keeping good enough care of the reel, because as you can see, it is in pretty rough shape. But all I can say guys, open up your reels, service them. Don't let the insides look like this at all, and you should be good. But I do prefer some reels over this one, like the Daiwa BG, because they have oversized gears. These gears are way larger, and they prevent stuff like this from happening, even on heavy torque situations like that Goliath Grouper. That's pretty much it for the day, guys. I will also have a part three coming out tomorrow for the last day of the Keys trip until we get down there again. And don't forget to buy some jigs. So hope you guys enjoyed the footage today. Tight lines.